What does a family do when a loved one needs long-term critical care? A chronic illness, a lung transplant, a serious car accident. All can present huge challenges to both patient and family. When a patient is so ill they require long-term acute care, they need a different kind of hospital, a place like New England Sinai in Stoughton. As Paul Belutis lay in an induced coma at Jordan Hospital, battling a deadly pneumonia, the burden fell on his wife Connie to find a long-term acute care hospital that would give Paul the best outcome. That was the toughest decision I had to make probably in a very long time. Um, not used to being the one that had to make those decisions alone. Ultimately, Connie chose New England Sinai because of its reputation. Consistently high national scores for its quality treatment, combined with compassionate care from the medical staff. Like other patients here, Paul spent hours relearning simple everyday tasks, like how to reach for objects and lift heavy items, teaching his atrophied muscles how to move. 32 days later, the man who was carried from an ambulance into the hospital walked out the front door. Three months has gone by. When Paul returns for a visit to Sinai, he is a new man. I heard you drove here. I did. <laughs> I've been driving for a while and doing a lot of things. Yeah, you look great. Was what Paul had so bad that he might have died if he hadn't gotten treatment? Sure. Um, he, he had severe hypoxic respiratory failure. He had um, very significant ventilate, ventilator requirements, um, needing very high amounts of oxygen. They're very well trained. They work together as a team. They're all professionals. They're focused on you as a patient, and they're very good at it. And I think it is a great place. All right, look up the toes. New England Sinai is an active hospital for people of many different ages and conditions. Dr. Larry Hodes is the chief medical officer and vice president of medical affairs. These are very, very difficult patients that require a lot of, of intense focus. Many of the Boston academic hospitals send their long-term patients here, including Mass General, the Brigham, Beth Israel, and Tufts. It's really, I think, a testament to Sinai that these hospitals that are very, very well recognized, obviously, like the Brigham, trust us to take care of this population of patients. And the fact is we get great outcomes with them. It's really a special place, and a lot of that has to do with you know, great nursing staff, um, great respiratory care, phenomenal physical therapists. Um, the whole hospital, it's a smaller hospital, so it's got a, a good family feel. Jack Branley is mostly confined to his bed and unable to speak due to ALS. Jack once worked in the financial world and is an active reader of history and a lover of classical music. His daughter Adrian is thankful for the compassionate care Jack receives at Sinai. We said, well, the first thing we want is, is good quality, great quality for him. We heard about Sinai. And um, we came up and looked around. We came in the door as though we were just people visiting somebody else. Uh, walked around and we loved it. Loved it from the minute we came. And he absolutely loves it here. And we sleep at night knowing he's here. Heidi O'Connor is Jack's doctor too. She knew Jack hadn't been to a Red Sox game in years. And so she arranged a surprise trip to Fenway to see a game. I walked in and I asked him, Jack, would you like to go to the Red Sox? And he kind of laughed and, you know, was smiling. And I said, no, I'm serious. Do you want to go to the Red Sox? And he and his daughter both, you know, just were elated and started crying. Did you have therapy or today? At Sinai, she says, people are not seen as patients, but they become like family members. We try to um, improve their quality of life and have them do um, activities and things just to really sometimes uh, let them forget they're not patients, that they're also people. I hope that I stay healthy enough that I don't come back, but if I ever do need rehabilitation, uh, I'd come back here in a heartbeat.